violence. So I would like to know anti-political... A disturbing trend is evident by recent violence and incidences in Wau, Ye and Rumbek, the clashes in Pibo, cattle raids in the tri-state area, and most recently the deadly attacks in Walgak Payam, Akobo County on February 8. ANMI strongly condemns the attack in Wolgok and we call on all communities, their leaders and authorities, the government of South Sudan and that of Zhongli Estate, to put an end to such deadly violence. We also call for maximum restraint to prevent the occurrence of additional attacks. The cycle of violence has to end. Sudan stops. But there are also limits to what we can do and where we can operate. Threats from cattle raids are particularly challenging. Despite these challenges, however, we have been protecting civilians under imminent threat. Uh, sorry, this is for the FRSG. Um, given the restrictions on access, um, increasing threats... Ongoing violence and instability in parts of the country, including the recent events in Gar, have deeper roots. Historical grievances continue to affect relations between communities and individuals. Also, new tensions emerge from old wounds. They need to be addressed. That is why the UN welcomes the government's initiative to launch a process of national reconciliation and healing. Such a process has great potential for nation building in South Sudan, creating the space to deepen understanding, trust and respect. The leadership of this process and the approach that is taken will be decisive for its possibility to succeed. Central of the state. Uh... It is therefore positive that South Sudan has agreed to become a pilot country for the UN Plan of Action on the Safety of Journalists and the Issue of Impunity. ANMIS, UNESCO and OHCHR, the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights, will work together and we will work together with other national and international partners to support this process, aiming for a free and safe environment for journalists and media workers in South Sudan. So what are plans? That the together, what the UN is trying to do here is really enhance the chances for peace. To avoid any slippage backwards, we know that there are hot spots, there are things that flare up all over the place, but actually overall what we're trying to do is make sure that South Sudan, its institutions, its people, are on a more solid footing and that you can move forward to become what we all hope is a just, a prosperous nation. The economic situation, the political... So far the response has been about 185 million US dollars out of a target of 1.16 billion dollars. So we are roughly 15%, 15 funded for the appeal. Um, now what does that mean? What it means is that uh, we're struggling to continue all of the emergency operations that we had envisaged, in particular uh, the response to the refugee situation in Upper Nile State, in Unity, uh, but more so, I would say, to continue uh, the response in a timely fashion uh, to the 2.3 million people throughout South Sudan who are considered, uh, whom we have evaluated as being food insecure. In this form, in their protection, who are the civilians